because you're stuck. Oh my god. <gasps> oh my gosh. Texas sized tussles, aircraft encounters, and of course, lots and lots of chainsaw confrontations. Today, we're breaking down and reacting to all of the frightful medical scenes and gnarly injuries from Texas Chainsaw Massacre films. Let's dive right in. If you get stabbed or punctured in the back, it literally depends on the location, right? So if you're getting mid thoracic area, higher thoracic, so you worry about puncturing the lung, as well as if it's on the midline or just off midline, you're always worried about hitting your heart, your esophagus, the trachea. What is that? Oh, a chainsaw. Chainsaws initially were potentially used in medicine. Obviously, we don't use these type of saws. We do use saws, very specific saws that are very fine to make the finest cuts. Now this person's trying to grab behind and get it off, but it's a hook. Unless you're able to lift yourself off, you're kind of stuck. And it looks like more on the right side of the back, so it's more likely that it punctured the lung and you're being held up by your own ribs. Ribs. A chainsaw that is made to cut probably wood and trees is going to cause a lot of destruction to the tissue. I do see these type of injuries that come to the emergency department where people are cutting trees, either the chainsaw kicks or it falls and it hits the individual. We see a lot of destructive tissue. It looks like it's been chewed up, really hard to put back together, but we do our best to put it back together. Sometimes you need to debride the tissue, meaning you actually have to cut some tissue away to get a better wound closure and better future healing. And then obviously these are dirty, they have oil in them. You'll have to worry about infections. She's being pulled by her hair. They pull your hair off. Which hurts like heck. The hair can be ripped out. There could actually be bleeding that is caused from a lot of hair being ripped out. And then obviously you always worry about cervical spine issues, ligamentous issues, and any tendon or muscle issues relating to that area. Oh. Get Typical fight type injury. Somebody hitting their head against the wall, somebody being carried. You're gonna get ecchymosis. Ecchymosis. You're gonna get bruising. You're gonna get some hematomas. Unlikely from a fall from a standing position and hitting your head will you actually cause a skull fracture or intracranial bleeding. This depends on how much dead weight you are. <laughs> The gentleman's hands are tied together and now he's hanging from the chandelier. That in itself is gonna cause difficulty with breathing, so hard to expand your lungs. And then if you're hanging for a way too long a period of time, there also is an issue of the shoulder joint. So if somebody's already previously dislocated their shoulder, they can actually dislocate their shoulder again. You're stuck, oh my God. <gasps> oh my gosh. Chainsaw to the groin. That's gonna cause so much pain that you could potentially pass out. Gonna cause some bleeding, but not a lot of bleeding to cause death within 10 seconds. Oh my gosh, what the? Oh my God. That is a big chainsaw, holy cow. Typically sparks would mean something is hot. The biggest thing I think about is actually getting in your eye. So we see a lot of people in the auto mechanic world get small pieces of metal, get into their eye and cause irritation. It can cause a rust ring. It can cause corneal abrasions or lacerations or even puncture into the globe. I always wondered how easy it would be to chainsaw through the roof of a car. I'm pretty sure it's hard to do, right? Because of like the jaws of life and the different devices that fire departments use, they have a saw to cut through metal. It does take a little while. <laughs> this roof looks more like a convertible roof, so it's probably super easy. Oh, but it was 
A mask? My mask! Oh no. So that wound by a chainsaw actually looked really clean. Typically it wouldn't look that clean. It'd be jagged. The, the saw would probably be bouncing because the skull and the bone is actually quite hard. Most of the chainsaw injuries that I've seen that actually have hit somebody's head, I've seen scalping. And I want my scalps. The tissue being cut off. I've seen a fracture, but I've never actually seen it go all the way through the skull. But that's why you wear safety glasses. That's why you wear a hard hat. Things to protect yourself in situations that injuries are common. Oh my gosh. Holy cow. Okay. <laughs> Definitely not compatible with life. Stitch. If that much brain tissue is totally gone. The bleeding wouldn't actually squirt like that. It would just pull out. You have some major arteries that run around and then you also have pooling sinuses that are in there. Oh my gosh. Go, go, go. <gasps> oh, what? Some part of the plane just nails this individual. Looks like there's massive amount of head injury. You'd probably expect a little bit more trauma to the head, maybe more skull fractures, more bleeding, and potential brain matter. If it's a significant traumatic brain injury, you can not have a massive skull fracture and still have bleeding within your brain that makes you unconscious and then slowly will potentially kill you. So he's got this unique bionic looking brace to his right lower extremity. So there could be an issue relating to the leg itself. Does it not work? Was there a previous injury to the knee? Multiple different things could occur. A lot of people get sciatica or what we call a lumbar radiculopathy, where there's a nerve compression to the lower back. My back! Affects the legs. There are multiple different apparatuses that we're coming up with now that could potentially mimic something like this. I'm so confused. What is happening? The experience of watching a loved one pass away, this is actually quite normal and it does happen where there's a whole slew of different emotional experiences that an individual might experience. Depends on if it's expected or not. If it's right away, it's quite traumatic. If it is something that's expected, it may not be as traumatic, but it's still just as emotional. Texas Chainsaw franchise, always entertaining us. Looking at it from a medical standpoint and how potentially this could relate to what I do on a daily basis was actually correlating pretty well because I have seen many injuries that are related to a chainsaw. So if you guys enjoyed this, maybe you enjoy the franchise or you just enjoyed me reacting to it, definitely check out this playlist right here and make sure you subscribe, turn your bell notifications on and hit that like button for me. Thank you so much for watching and stay healthy, my friends.